Well, for decades, the identity of a man found in the Snohomish River was a complete mystery. Since 1980, he's been referred to simply as Jetty Doe. And that is until now. A specialized DNA lab and the Snohomish County Medical Examiner's Office was able to identify him and give his family some answers. But as Q13's Olivia Lavoie explains, there's still so much left to uncover about this case. He just disappeared. No one heard from him. 24 year old Stephen Lee Knox had moved to Everett after getting out of the Air Force. When family didn't hear from him in spring 1980, they knew something was terribly wrong and reported him missing. Months turned to years, to decades. Devastating, heartbreaking, overwhelming trauma. Meanwhile, in Washington, the Snohomish County Sheriff's Department also had questions for years after a man's body was found in the Snohomish River in June 1980. The medical examiner's office determined he drowned, but they didn't know the circumstances that led up to it. He was known only as Jetty Doe until a specialized DNA lab got involved. It was a difficult case. Luckily, Othram, a company working to identify victims and suspects, was up for the challenge. And we specialize also in contaminated, highly contaminated and degraded DNA. Uh, some of our cases go back, you know, 40 plus years. It wasn't easy, but Othram was able to get a DNA profile from Jetty Doe that was then entered into a genealogy website where Snowco's ME's office built a family tree, leading them to the Knoxes. It's been 40 some years, at least. We have the confirmation it's him. Having some answers means the world to her. But Dr. Janet Neitzel Knox says there's still so much more. We just know that there's more pieces that someone else might know. It would be so, so very helpful to my brothers and I. If they could provide any more pieces. Because so many are missing. Shortly before Stephen went missing, Janet says he confided in another sibling. He told my brother then that there were bad people after him. And if they catch him, they're going to kill him. So that was my first question to the ME. Was he murdered? And, and they couldn't tell me. All they could say is that he drowned. Stephen's body had been in the water for roughly two months. And with no idea how he got there, his manner of death, meaning natural, accidental, or homicide, remains undetermined. Janet hopes to one day learn more. But for now, she's thankful to be bringing him home. But he'll have a space that has his name on it. He's no longer a John Doe. We're taking him. He's ours. Olivia LaVoice, Q13 News. And if you have any information or know Stephen during his time here, please call police.